If he means what he said, he was right. It would be great to co cooperate with Russia. I would go farther. It's imperative. Despite the overwhelmingly negative reaction to today's summit, not everyone thinks the president's blame America first approach to Russia is wrong. Michael Moynihan met with two American foreign policy experts, old comrades Stephen Cohen and John Mearsheimer, to hear their admittedly unpopular case for the rightness of Russia. I could go down a list of what people have called you, Stephen. Go ahead. We, it should be on Stooge record. of Putin. Mainly Putin apologists. Putin apologists. Are they right? There's been a tsunami of these attacks on me. Many and once distinguished publications. There is a market, an appetite for this defamation. They're uninformed. The question you want to ask yourself is why won't people engage in a legitimate debate with people like Steve and me? And I believe the reason they won't is they would lose the debate. I I'm fully confident of that. And I'll summarize how I see it. And I'm not sure John fully agrees. At the moment, as we talk, we are eyeball to eyeball in a new Cold War with Russia. Putin was one of the few leaders in the world who stood up to the Americans. And the main manifestation of that was the Ukraine crisis. There's a big question here with regard to the Ukraine crisis. Who is principally responsible for causing it? And I think that the evidence is clear that it's the United States and its West European allies. It was deeply rooted in Washington that if you take Ukraine, bring it into the West, militarily, economically, through the EU, through NATO, Russia would be nothing more than what Obama called a weak regional power. But don't those countries have a right to decide whether or not they want to join NATO? No, they don't. They don't. That's a, ve that's a very foolish way of thinking about international How so? Politics. I'm just talking about the people of those countries who say, we want to join NATO. We were under the boot heel of Russia for too long. We want to join this alliance. You're it's slightly different than... than no, than, you're no, assuming no. that people make foreign policy. Any fool could have told you that by bringing in countries on Russia's borders with historical grievances against Russia, we're going to diminish everybody's national That's security. That's exactly right. Let's say the Soviet Union or China at some future point forms a military alliance with Mexico and Canada on our border. And, we would never tolerate it. And let this. me ask the Presumably, you and I and John would demand that the American president react. Would he be aggressive? aggressive? Would that be aggression if he reacts? It would be defensive. We've demonized Putin and we've Putinized Russia, so we've demonized Russia. Russophobia is running amok in this country. I've seen these things from the inside. I rethought and rethought how we got to the edge of war with Russia where we haven't been since Cuba in 1962, and I have concluded it is 95% our own doing. So speaking of percentages, would you see that percentage of war breaking out between the U.S. and Russia as getting smaller with Donald Trump in office? Trump is wrong on a lot of things, but on the thing that I care most about, because I think it's existential, because I think it's life and death, if he means what he said, he was right. It would be great to co cooperate with Russia. I would go farther. It's imperative. So how's he doing so far? Well, we don't know yet. We will have to see. But the attack on him is ferocious. The President of the United States is being kept from doing what we've demanded of every president. Keep us out of war with Russia. We crippled Trump. Now, on the other hand, Trump doesn't cripple easy. He just presses on, rightly or wrongly. So. I hope that he and Putin reach a series of agreements that will keep us safe. The tremendous hostility in the establishment to this meeting at Helsinki is largely driven by the fact that people want to undermine Trump. But furthermore, they have to explain how he got elected in the first place. It can't be because Hillary Clinton or the Democrats didn't run a good campaign. It can't be because the American people are that foolish. It has to be because they were tricked. Opponents of Donald Trump are using Putin as kind of a patsy or a fall guy to it, attack a, him. Yes, as a hammer to beat him over the head. But these people would prefer trying to impeach Trump to averting nuclear war or war with Russia. If it's come to that, Trump's no longer to blame. We are ourselves. It's great to be with you.